Senior Life Journeys presents Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia, a podcast designed to help caregivers find knowledge, power, hope, and smiles in their dementia caregiving journey. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Here is your host, best-selling author, Carol Howell. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. I'm Carol Howell, your host, and I'm glad you're here today. We are going to talk about why women have Alzheimer's more than men. And it is a truth, um, and it's kind of interesting to think about. I've got my own theory on that. I'm going to share it with you a little bit. I'm not sure how um, scientific my theory is, but I don't think it's real far off base either. But I'm reading an article recently from sharecare.com and found it very interesting on this subject. And they say one possible reason that women have Alzheimer's more prevalently than men is women outlive men. Well, that just makes sense. If um, We know that the leading reason for having Alzheimer's is being of an advanced age. The longer we live, the more likely our chances of having Alzheimer's. We know that by the time we reach age 65, 10% of our population will have Alzheimer's. By the time we reach 85, 50% of our population will have Alzheimer's. So if you live longer, the, lo- the more your chances of getting Alzheimer's. I was recently told if you make it to 85 without any symptoms of memory issues, that chances are you will not develop memory issues. I hope that's true. Um, Don't know for sure, but I sure hope that's true. They know that women, when they do brain scans, have more um, beta amyloid plaque in their brain. Now, beta amyloid plaque is a protein that's definitely associated with the development of Alzheimer's, and they see it more in women than in men. Um, They found that women have a mental decline at a rate about two times faster than men. Now here we go get to the reason Carol thinks this is going on. Well I just think (laughs) women have a lot to do and I'm always asking my husband what's it like being you? You know, when we on Saturday afternoon and he's sitting back with his computer on his lap. I call his computer his mistress because she's just sitting there and you know, he's oh so happy with her. And I'm doing the laundry and I'm putting away the groceries and I'm figuring out what we're going to have for dinner. And I'm planning this and I'm doing that. And I've probably got a show for you that's in the works loading up onto YouTube or something. And he's sitting there with his computer. Truly, women have more stress, more things to do on a whole, than men. Now, I know that's not true in every situation. I know there are some men that are just really bombarded with life. But on the whole, I don't think that's true. Women have more home duties, and then they throw in work duties, and then they throw in caregiving duties, whether it be for children or their parents or someone who's sick or just someone who needs extra attention. So um, it says women were more likely than men to develop long-term thinking problems after surgery. Now, we know anesthesia can do crazy crap to your brain. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to say crap, but I did. But it does crazy stuff to your brain. Coming out of anesthesia can be more difficult than what you might think, and then the effect thereafter seems to be um, more... effects from it seem to be more prevalent in women than in men. We know that if you have dementia and you go under general anesthesia, it will affect your dementia and not in a good way. While more research is needed to determine exactly how, we know that sex and gender influence Alzheimer's because of stressors associated with that gender. And that's back to what I'd said before about how women, I think, carry more of the stress loads of life than their counterparts in their life, the men do. Women are often dying uh, most later with Alzheimer's than men are. See, the woman is noticing it in her husband. And she's like, oh, back the truck up. Something's not right. Let's get George to the doctor. And we find out right away what's going on with George. The men are not going to notice it as quickly. I'm sorry, men. We love you. But you're just not as observant. You're not. And so you may not notice it in your loved one. And you may not get them to the doctor as quickly. Women are also more verbal. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, we talk a lot. But it's because we know more words than you do. We just do, and we have to use all of our words every day, so just get over it. This article says there may be a significant amount of brain function loss before it becomes apparent to loved ones that something's going on with the female in their life because they have more words to cover up to be a good actress than potentially their male counterparts do. Women are more likely to blame other conditions. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not forgetting things. It's PMS. Don't worry about it. I'm okay. It's it's hormonal. And it might be. 
might not be too. Or I've had a stressful day and I've got a headache or I haven't eaten or, you know, we're just quick to think of other reasons that might answer why we're not remembering things or having problems concentrating. And we know that women are more likely to be the caregivers for someone else with dementia. Now, we know that caregivers have an increased chance of developing Alzheimer's than those who are not caregiving. That stress that you guys are under from being the caregiver increases your chances of Alzheimer's because of the stress. And then that stress leads to what? You don't go to the doctor. You don't exercise. You don't go to the pool and, and relax. You don't go sit on a rock. You don't go outside and yell at God and tell him how angry you are with how things are going. Or you don't go outside and enjoy the sunshine and thank God for how many blessings you've got in your life. You don't take time for yoga, for breathing. You might not have practiced that five, five, ten, five breathing. In five, hold it for five. Out for the count of ten, hold it for five. Doing that you know, eight or ten times a day. Maybe you've not practiced yelling really loudly to stimulate that vagus nerve that runs through your body that helps us bring relaxation and it helps to calm the belly just because you scream to the top of your lungs. Do it next time you get in the car, especially if you're sitting at a stoplight and there's a car nearby. Just scream as loud as you can. <laughs> they are absolutely going to wonder what's going on and I just love that. <laughs> well, those are just a few things to think about why women may have the symptoms of Alzheimer's and actually be diagnosed with Alzheimer's more readily than men. But we can't we can't just use this as, oh, this is okay and this way it is. We gotta stop this. So females, if you're experiencing these symptoms or if your loved one is, you really need to be on this. We've got to get to the doctor. We've got to find out why we have dementia, why we're having problems thinking, why we're having problems remembering. Might not be Alzheimer's, right? It might be a different reason of something we can fix. Maybe you are depressed. Yeah. And you can't think clearly and quickly and thoroughly because you are depressed, especially if you're a caregiver. That just makes sense. So there might be medications that can help you with that. And if we're putting it off and we're not going to find out because we don't want to know what we're going to find out, you're just hurting yourself because it's not going to get better on its own, but it might get better if you go and you find out that Maybe it's not Alzheimer's, it's something else that, that we can be treated for. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I hope that's true, but I hope you're taking care of yourself. I really do. I've told you before, my calendar, if you look at my calendar at 9 o'clock every day, it says pool, pool, pool every day. Because I have to remind myself when I'm making appointments, don't do something to interrupt that. That's my healing time. That's my time that prepares me for the day, that makes me more effective, keeps me healthy, makes me a better person. So I can be salt and light, hands and feet, and I can sit here and talk to you about junk four days a week. Just give you all kinds of stuff to think about. It's really not junk. It's good stuff, isn't it? Well, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you're preparing um, and getting closer to being fully prepared for the celebration of the Christ child coming into this um, world as a little baby. I'm excited about it. Blessings and smiles on your day. Let's Talk Dementia would like to thank our sponsors, National Association of Veterans and Families. You can reach them at 800-352-2919 on the internet at www.navf.org. They speak veterans so you don't have to, and you tell them Carol sent you when you call to inquire about benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Editor Beth. You can find Miss Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is amazing at looking at what you've written and making sure it represents you well. Find her at www.EditorBeth.com. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's York County. 803-985-0985. They are there for the, hunt, the repair and maintenance of your Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Kia. Tell them Carol sent you. Thanks for joining us today for Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia. To learn more about dementia, we recommend Carol's best-selling book, also titled Let's Talk Dementia. It's available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. Be sure to like Let's Talk Dementia on Facebook and leave us a kind word of review on iTunes. Remember, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. Hope brings smiles. And we all need more smiles. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll be right here when you come back to Let's Talk Dementia.